Maggie and Joe today. Check it out. Apparently, the Joe man put some salt prunes in there so it get a little color. And he said that it's for flavor too. The ultimate taste tester. Tell me. Nice. It's actually, yeah, I taste it too. It tastes real good. Mm -hmm. Real flavored. You, you're getting a salt prunes taste? You're getting a salt prunes in it, yeah. And the guy put the pepper separate, you know. You serious? Yeah. This is it have good flavor, but this is the pepper he put to the side here. Oh. You see guys, this is somebody who's selling chow at my workplace. You see how people are getting creative? And this guy get sales from like 20 people on one floor. Cut, cut. I'm going to take my pine, cut it up and put it in his sauce. Guys, it's Juicy Burgers Friday evening. We have some cheese, lettuce, tomato, freshly cut pine, and some vashas chili veggie patties, and some kiss burger buns with some onion rings and some fig. Okay, I like exclude the fig. Guys, we are the master chef organizing this Juicy Burger. You put in fig with that, Sonny boy. Can't put fig where you fig on the fig on the side. The fig is the dessert. Dessert. <laughs> that ice cream man you got to go there. Ice cream man fig? You don't know that? No. You eat it. Not me. Why? For me to get diarrhea? No, you ain't not that. Come on, I'm hungry like a dog. Just put food on that table, please. There's boss burgers at work here, you know. Well, excuse the noise, eh? We have a tractor fan in the house. Come now, dog. You're taking long. Okay, so okay. what is what you have in your secret sauce? The cattle wouldn't be a secret. No, tell me some of the things you have in your secret sauce. Veggie mayo. Mm-hmm. That is Ketchup. it? <laughs> Mustard. And a dash and a uh -huh, and a dash and a uh -huh. And pepper sauce. Alright. Cattle mayo. Okay, okay. I respect that. Alright, put some speed. Big man. Oh, no, Indian hungry, a little young bad. <laughs> when they're drunk too. <laughs> okay, man, nothing to drink, you know. Are you in the room? 
I hope I like cheese in. Cheese in and no sneezing. Cheese in and no sneezing. It's COVID time. You wash your hands? <laughs> so I'm getting a subway built here in my presence with all the attitude of the <laughs> these servers. Wear your gloves. Gloves? And and in subway you're supposed to be wearing gloves? Yeah, well, I have construction gloves. <laughs> wow. I want it on Parmesan bread, please. Hold on. I'll pass it over the fire here, Papa. The second better and better. Come here, though. I'm paying for this, you know. You put more tomatoes on this one. You're gonna, you're gonna, go real, sir. And I'm paying for extra pine. Nah, you're gonna pay for this. Like it, count them pieces, boy. <laughs> you can't overgive me. That's what you say, boy. Wow, so why I want nothing with my hobby song, was you know? Chapter one, you can already do. So, what's the original name of these juicy bagels? Homemade style. Come better than that now. Come better than that? Yeah, homemade style. I know it's homemade, but you name it now. Sky Fashion Burger. Sky Fashion! Alright, sir. Why are you waiting for when I reach home then to wash the wings? You got to reach home before you? <laughs> You're so sweet. You wash the wings. But next time I will wait till you reach home first. Why? So you go wash the wings. No, don't do that. Why not? Guys, this is why I like Friday evenings. Juicy burgers, toasted onion rings, and freshly cut coconut water. We you like more than that? What do you want more than that? Guys, in keeping with the idea of supporting small businesses, I purchased most of my groceries at a small supermarket in the area. Guys, when last you had Devon bourbon creams? That's one of my favorite biscuits. We have the mixed nuts here. I usually put that in my oats on mornings. This was 3 for 10 normal peanuts, lightly salted. I have some grease proof paper here, muffin holders, Milo, favorite tea. Well, not tea, but favorite um, breakfast drink. Two packs of cheap fried rice seasonings we don't usually have sodas at home or sweet drink as we usually call it um i felt to drink some lemon lime bitters and smoked and stuff so pick up a few of those this two for ten or two for twenty soft and pretty and towels five roses flour I'm sure everybody knows about this combo pack. It's 20 in a pack sunshine snacks combo pack. I believe it's like $25 or $21. This Swiss tricolor penny pasta. I usually use that for um, macaroni salad. This Matuk's cover jam. In between, we would have like um, peanut butter and jam sandwiches two maggi super top vegetable flavored i did not know chief had chocolate powder but we're gonna test that out twelve dollars a pack soil chunks this was twenty dollars i would link the price of the other things i'm happy to say that although it was a very small supermarket the items were priced as normal large supermarkets would have. So the only thing I didn't actually get, I'm thinking the only thing that I would go to a bigger supermarket for 
is the nine grain flour that I usually use. I picked up this Bush's vegetarian baked beans. This is about $17 or $18 put in. It's very, very tasty. Oh. Power Mint Zero and they also have Diana has Pop Drop Zero as well. I picked up this happy long grain parboy rice. Cashew nuts, one of my favorite nuts to munch on. Kiss drops. My husband loves these. It's good to keep in your car, you know, in case you don't have any food, you have this to munch on. My favorite cricks, the multi grain crackers. I would put some of these in a processor, right? And put it together with my toppings on my macaroni pie and it is phenomenal. Try that guys. What else here? This is coconut shortcakes. This are the combo pack here. Of the Devon biscuits. This was about $24. I don't think you would get bourbon and stuff in this store. It has the big four and the the shortcake and other digestive and whatever. Oh, chocolate digestives here. And the big four and the coconut cream. Then last you all had puff tops. That's one of my favorite biscuits too. Dip this in some warm milk and you will be in heaven. That's it guys. It's not a lot, but this is what I needed at the time. And I did not have to go to, to one of those huge groceries to get these things. As I said before, I'm trying to support small businesses in the area, so that's my contribution.